こんにちはティム・クックです GPTV ですアンテナですじゃあどうぞいらっしゃいまさこさんですあ、ティム先生こんにちはこんにちはえ、まさこさんどうぞはじめましてまさこクックですどうぞよろしくアシスタントですねはいアシスタントですスクリプトですじゃあティム先生どうぞどうもコントロールルームですこんにちはお名前はスティーブですディレクターですねはいどうもスタジオですじゃあどうぞみなさんどうぞスタジオですみなさんおはようございますおはようございますみなさんおはようございますあおはようございますえー、っとお名前ははいお<咳>ティムですお名前はフランコですあフランコ君ですねどうもお名前はクリスティですああクリスティさんですねどうもお名前はスーザンですスーザンさんですねどうもお名前はアダムですあ,あアダムくんですね皆さんどうも By now I think I can remember your names but today we'll learn a little more about you I'm going to show you a sentence about someone and you guess who it is Hmm. えー、っとアダムくんですかいえおおじゃあクリスティさんですかはいああクリスティさんですね Next is、hmm. じゃあクリスティさんどうぞスーザンさんですかいえアダムくんですかはいああアダムくんですねじゃあ My mother is from England、hmm. じゃあアダムくんどうぞ、mm. フランコくんですかいいえ、oh. uh, クリスティさんですかいいえ、mm. スーザンさんですねはいあスーザンさんですねじゃあ I have four sisters and seven brothers. Hmm. So, Susan san, dozo. Adam kun deska? Yeah. Franco kun deska? Hi. Oh, Franco kun desne. So, I've been acting for 15 years. Hmm. So, Franco kun dozo. Adam kun deska? Yeah. Chrissy Soon Deska? Hi. Oh, Christy San. Christy San Deska. Hi. Ah, Christy San Desne. Mina San Domo. Remember that Ka is for asking a question and Ne is confirming the answer. Oshima San Deska? Ye, Ueno Des. Ah, Ueno San Desne. Hi. えー、っとクリスティ・ウォルトンさんですかはいあクリスティ・ウォルトンさんですはいアダム・マックスウェルくんですか<笑>い,いえアダム・マックスですあすみませんアダム・マックスくんですね、はいはい
out of Max Cường Das. <clears throat> Franco Cummings Cường Das, right? Yeah. Ah. Franco Calamis Das. Ah, sumimasen. Franco Calamis Cường Das, ne? Hi. Ah, hi. Franco Calamis Cường Das. Eto. Susan Rhodes san desu ka? Ie, Susan Rhodes desu. Ah, sumimasen. Susan Rhodes san desu ne? Hai. Sumimasen, sumimasen. Susan Rhodes san desu. Now let's introduce you to some useful Japanese expressions and gestures which are different from Americans. Take this expression. Sumimasen is another one of those words that has lots of uses. To apologize, sumimasen. To get someone's attention, uh, sumimasen. Or even to say thank you, sumimasen. Which to Japanese is sometimes like apologizing. Sort of like this guy. Ah, sumimasen. Ah, yeah. Ah, sumimasen. Hi. So you see, sumimasen has multiple meanings, and so does this word, domo. What's domo? Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Right, thank you. But if domo is thank you, you may wonder why people appear to be thanking each other so often. Domo for what? Domo for nothing. It's just an expression to fill time. The next word you should be careful with is Adam Kung, Dozo. Konnichiwa. Hi. Konnichiwa. Good afternoon. Hello. Or simply, hi. There are a couple things you'll want to know just to say, konnichiwa. Ja, dozo. Ah, Johnson-san, konnichiwa. Ah, Matsumoto-san, konnichiwa. <laughs> Japanese don't hug or kiss or even pat on the shoulder. In fact, they don't generally touch each other at all, at least not in public. Ah, ah Matsumoto-san, konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. In English, you can say hi all day long. Not so with konnichiwa. It's like good morning or good afternoon. Once you've said it, that's it. By now, you've figured out the Japanese bow a lot. But be sure you have the right bow. Japanese do not bow this way. Or this way. No, Japanese don't bow that way. They bow this way. The more important you are, the lower they bow for you. Which means the less important you are, the lower you bow for them. And if you don't know who's more important, just try to bow lower and longer than the other person. Hmm. えっ、どうも。どうも。どうも。Here's something else to be aware of. Other little gestures Japanese make, like when they point to themselves. They don't point this way. They point this way. Yokoyama desu. It's always good to know other people's social customs, which is just as important as knowing their language. In fact, if you don't know their language at all, you can still learn a few simple things to cross the culture gap. Say you're doing business with Japanese people. Let's see if there's anything wrong with this exchange. Dozo. 
My name is Yoshihide Fujimura, Daichi Freight Company. Uh, Yoshihide Fujimura? Yoshihide Fujimura. Yo Yoshi. <laughs> is it all right if I call you Yoshi? So, is it all right if he calls him Yoshi? Yeah. yeah. Oh, he right. <laughs> it's not okay. Even if the names are difficult, at least try to pronounce them correctly. This is the man's name. Adam Gung, try reading this. Yoshihide Fujimura. Hi. Yoshihide Fujimura. You remember how to pronounce the five vowel sounds? It's pronounced Yoshihide Fujimura, which means the American should call him Kurushi san, dozo. Mr. Fujimura. Hi. Yoshihide is his given name, but Japanese usually call each other by their family name unless they're close friends. The American should have called him Mr. Fujimura or Fujimura-san. Nice to meet you, Mr. Fujimura. Here, let me give you my card. My name is Robert Johnson with the ABC Printing Company. What's wrong with this scene? It's a rumpled card. What's wrong with that? Not a very good first impression. Right. If that's the only card you have, you might as well skip the Meishi exchange because to a Japanese businessman, a rumpled, dirty meishi shows that you don't think he's very important to you. Oh, and when you receive a meishi, use both hands. My name is Yoshihide Fujimura of Daiichi Freight Company. I'm Mr. Fujimura. My name is Robert Johnson with the ABC Printing Company. Let me give you my cards here. Much better. And don't forget to bow slightly. Minasan, yoku dekimashita. Very good. Ja, sayonara. Sayonara. These characters are called hiragana. Someday you'll be able to read this whole thing. Fairly soon, actually. But for now, let's go back to these ones. A, i, u. E, o. Let's start with the hiragana a. Aloha. A. Draw the arms first, then the body, then the skirt. Arms, body, skirt. If you're asking yourself, what does it matter what order I draw this? You'll find out after you get stuck in the habit of drawing it wrong, your writing will forever look like you're in kindergarten. Arms, body, skirt. Ah. That's what Japanese say if something goes wrong. Ah. E. As in Hawaii. E. Down, hook, angle right. Make sure you get that hook action down there at the bottom. Down, hook, angle right. Ooh. 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 Draw it like a log with a little hook in it and the person bent over. Log, hook, person. Log, hook, person, agony. Ugh. E. Ch. E. Not really an H with all this extraneous stuff like the little hat and this line. Then the H part. Top, diagonal line, a cursive H. Top, diagonal line, cursive H. And last, the letter O over the green. O. 
Remember, think of it as a golf tee stuck in the ground on a golf green with the ball over the green. Of course, you've probably never seen a ball with a hook in it before, but there it is. Tee, green, ball over the green. Tee, green, ball over the green. A, E, U, E, O. Now is your turn to write. Take out a sheet of paper and a pen or pencil and follow along. This looks like a pen, but there's no ink in it. The ink appears on this screen. So look here. Yeah, Susan san, dozo. Dama. Ja. A. Which means, please write ah. Arms, body, skirt. Ah. Those are. Arms, body, Skirt. Mm, the skirt comes down a little bit more this way, like that. Ah. Hi. Ja. Oh, oh, kaite kudasai. Oh looks kind of like ah, but if you write one for the other, you might think you're writing someone's name, but you're actually writing pile of scum or something like that. So don't mix ah with oh. T on the golf green with a golf ball over the green. O. T. On the green with a golf ball over the green. Hey. But maybe the golf green can come out a little bit more. Oh, e. Oh, kaite kudasai. E. Down, curve, hook. Curve off to this side. E. Down, curve, hook. Curve off to the side. Although, this curve off to the side can be a little bit more over here, like that. If you have two letter I's imprinted in your brain, just be sure you don't dot them. The e, oh, can I take the side? E. This top part here. And then a cursive H. And curve off to the side. E. Dozo. That part first, and then cursive H. Mm, hi. <laughs> Although the cursive H, probably this part right here is not quite as curved. Ja. U. Oh, kaite kudasai. U. Log. Person's back. Bent over. U. U. Ja, dozo. Log. Falling on. Back. U. Hai. U. Des. Very good. Sayonara. Sayonara. You know who I am, Tim. But you don't know these two new faces. 
Nestor Gintero Kung and Celine Morris san. They're two Irashai students who will be joining us as we learn more about the art of putting a sentence together. That's right, we're going to learn all about Japanese grammar. Not fun, you say? Nonsense. Why, I bet you have tons of questions to ask me about nouns and particles already. Well, maybe tons of questions is a bit exaggerated, but surely something comes to mind. Tim Sensei, I have one. You've said that des means am, and since your name is Tim Cook, that means you would introduce yourself as Tim Cook des. But where is the I? You know, for I am Tim Cook. That's a good question. The truth is, Japanese often don't bother with pronouns like I or you or he, so all you really have to say is am Tim Cook or Tim Cook des to introduce yourself. For instance, if I said Celine san des, I would be saying, you are Celine, although in this case, des would mean are. In Japanese, you only have to remember one word, des, to say is, am, and are. Pretty simple, huh? But if des means am, why didn't you say that first? You know, des Tim Cook, as in am Tim Cook. Ah, in Japanese, the verb, in this case, des, always goes at the end of the sentence. So you see, in Japanese, you don't need a pronoun such as I or you, and the verb has to go at the end of the sentence. So there you have it. Timukuku desu. It's backwards from English. The bunpo hakase no bunpo pointo deshita. Ja, minasan, now let's see what your new vocabulary words look like in Japanese. You've just started learning hiragana, so the words probably still look like a bunch of squiggly lines to you, but with practice, you'll begin to recognize the words, even if you can't remember all the individual hiragana. Joining us to practice the words you've learned is Don Watkins-san. Don-san, hajimemashite. Hajimemashite. Dozo yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Dozo yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Hi. Here are some reading hints to help you with hiragana. Try to recognize any hiragana you do know, count the syllables in the word, or make a picture out of it in your mind to help you read it. Ja, Don san, dozo. Sensei. Hi. Sensei desu. Now, take these same hiragana above, which are all mixed up, and drag them down on top of the same hiragana for sensei. All right. And that one you, that you know? E. E. Hi. But pronounced here, it's pronounced E. Sensei des. Hi. Next word is. Dozo. Minisan. Hmm? Minisan. Hi. <laughs> Minasang. Minasang des. Ja. Donsang. Dozo. All right, Minasan. Mm. Hi, Minasan. Minasan. Hi, ja. Dozo. Konnichiwa. Hi, Konnichiwa. Ha, ah, time to say Konnichiwa. Ja, Donsan, Dozo. Kon, kon, ni, chi, wa. Hi, konnichiwa. Next word is, don't sound, don't sound. Ohayo gozaimasu. Hi, ohayo gozaimasu. You already recognize the first hiragana, o, the fourth hiragana, u, and the third from last hiragana, i. Uh, that's when you say, Ohayo gozaimasu. Don san, dozo. O. Ha. Yo. 
ご視聴しますおおはようございますはいおはようございますですじゃあドンさんよくできましたさようならさようなら Today on i r a s h a i we learned how to apologize to someone. Well, that's all for today. You've learned some valuable things today, but most importantly, how to bow correctly. And if you accidentally bump heads while you're practicing your bows, well, you know what to say. Sumimasen. Gong up. Sumimasen. Don't forget to practice what you've learned. A good way to make it stick in your brain is to teach someone else. Oh, and、uh, watch those kids. Minasan, sayonara. <laughs>